Hi, welcome to the channel. So I'm going to continue with the Polar's video series. The idea is to cover some simple operations using group by. So I'm all be working with the same data set I've been using. And the idea is to do very simple kind of count by one variable, then count by two variables. And then I make it a little bit more complicated, but basically, uh, very simple operations, but they are the ones that we do the most often. So I'll get started. So here I have um, some libraries that we'll be importing, uh, Polar, Pandas, NumPy, PyArrow, um, Matplotlib, Seaborn. And this uh, data set that is around five gigabytes, so you can download it from Kaggle. You can also use uh, Google Colab or the Kaggle notebook to follow this tutorial. So here I'm just reading the file. So it should take a few seconds to read it. Um, and then the idea is, uh, so we have this, the data here this is more or less how it looks like. Um, so the first, um, the first, uh, yeah, uh, exercise we have here is to do a group by, by the brand variable, and then do a count. So, let me show you how what this looks like. So basically, we have this this column here, brand, that is the the brand of these, uh, yeah, that the products that are being sold in this e-commerce uh, site, and we're doing count. So really, really simple. So let's take a look at the syntax. So df dot group by. So we pass in the variable. In this case, it's one, um, and then we do ag and we pass in an expression, a Polar's expression. So you can pass in more expressions here. Um, but yeah, just to get started, this is the first example. So then after, after doing this, the natural next step would be to sort the results. So here I, I show how to do it. So first do the aggregation, and then we do dot sort. Um, and this source from, yeah, from larger to smaller, right? So the only difference maybe with pandas is that you would do sort values and this is, uh, yeah, a different uh, argument, but it's just a matter of the syntax. Once you learn it, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, so for example, so you could, you could do this and then convert the results to pandas and make some plots or some other simpler, uh, more like graphical analysis, right? So here I show how to do this in Pandas. So you first do the aggregation and then you directly convert it to Pandas. We call sort values, uh, select the count column and then do ascending equals false. So this really does the same thing, but now that we have it in Pandas, you can just plot it or do whatever you want. So I think, in terms of exploring the data, this doing it like this is useful. Um, but yeah, it depends on the, the problem we're solving. So here is a little bit more, uh, uh, yeah, a little bit more complicated example, but still relatively simple. So we first do the group by, then we sort. And here I do with columns and uh, just modify this, uh, the count just convert it to a percent. Um, and then I, I return the top 10 rows. So um, the, the nice thing about this is that you can keep it all in one expression. And when you start uh, piping it like this, it's, um, yeah, it's very readable. So you can do this in pandas, but I don't feel it's that readable. And, and yeah, so here we have the same operation we did before and with the percentage uh, of each uh, brand, right? Um, so then, um, yeah, we'll, let's take a look at the data. So you can do DF sample, the same you, way you would do in pandas. Um, so here we have value count and it works as expected. So uh, yeah, you can filter, you can select a column like this in polars. Uh, this might stop working at some point. So um, the other way to do this is to do a group by on event type and then just call PL count. So um, you can just do this. 
And in this case, we're grouping by event type. So this is e-commerce data. So we have purchases, purchases, views, and add to cart event. So most of the events are views. But uh, yeah, this is uh, useful to know if you're working with this data. So uh, I think the, the favorite, uh, I mean, the, the nice feature I found in Polars is that you can add other variables here very easily and you don't need to they don't need to be indexed as in pandas or anything else you just add them there and it does the aggregation so this is a really really easy um, api to use and so this is just the same thing we did before so we're grouping by but now we're passing a list here with two variables and we use an expression here to get the result so what we get here is that the brand and the event type, they are in what we would call long format. So if we want to make some analysis on this data, um, we need to pivot it. So this is what I'm doing next. So I just want to create a column for the views, a column for the purchases, and a column for cart. And there's, um, yeah, there's this method called pivot we can use. And basically we need to as in the values, so the variable that has the, the numeric numeric values, what the variables will be using as indexes. So what we want to keep, let's say on the left side as the ID would be the brand in this case. And then the columns would be the variable that we want to pivot. So we want to create columns of event type. So what this gives me is, um, yeah, this, uh, data frame where I have the brand on the left and I have a column for each event type. So, uh, I mean, we could have done both of these two operations together. So you could do the group by and then do the pivoting, um, but just trying to break it down to make it easier to understand. So, um, so another idea you could think of is doing the grabbing the group by element, doing the pivoting and then sorting it. So that's what I'm doing here. So I sort by purchase. So we get the um, brands that had the most purchases. So Samsung and Apple, um, probably everybody would expect that. Um, and okay, so this is um, kind of a simple exploratory type of analysis that just helps you understand the data a little bit more. So another operation I would like to do now is, um, yeah, make some compute some percentages for the brand. So I want to understand what's the percentage of purchases divided by views or so add to cards, uh, also like the relation between purchases and add to cards. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. So I grab this DF brand uh, wide, so uh, the one I've just pivoted and I can do uh, PL call cart divided PL call view. So that would give me the add to carts divided the views. And here I can do purchase divided by cart. So, um, and then purchases divided by views. So, so these are just some simple calculations we can compute. Um, I mean, I'm trying to think of ways that uh, there are good examples how you can use this library. This is not super interesting, but at least it's a, it's a way we can showcase how Polars works. So here we have these um, percentages that can give you an idea of uh, from all the people that, uh, let's say, cart by views. So all the people that added to cart uh, divided by the ones that uh, viewed the product. So we get 8%. So 8% of the views uh, were added to cart. Um, and maybe this is the one that's the most, the easiest to understand by divided by view. So the purchases divided by uh, the view. So, um, so here we can uh, do some small analysis on the distributions of each of these variables. So let me break this down. So here I'm filtering the buy by cart that have lower to one, there were some errors there. And so I'm just filtering those. And then I'm calling select. I'm selecting these three columns. 
And then I convert it to pandas and I call it quantile function. So this gives me a nice summary of the distribution of each of these variables. So let's see, let's see this one, for example, by divided by views. So the median is very, very low. So, and then we get that some of these values are really high, but the median here is really low. So it's hard to make something useful out of this uh, column, but maybe these ones are a little bit uh, easier to understand. So for example, by divided by card. So, uh, so these are purchases divided by add to card. So I guess the median of this variable, 27% means that 27% uh, 20, of the people that uh, add to cart end up buying. Uh, so I think this is starts giving you some information on of the data set. Um, and then I wanted to try something a little bit more challenging, more computationally expensive. So I added user ID in the group by call. So, and this takes around eight seconds to run. So it's really, really fast. Um, and the resulting data set uh, has uh, still a large amount of data. So let's take a look at the shape. So, so here it, it did this group by, so where we, we have the brand, the event type, the count, and the user ID. And this has 17 million rows. So it's a relatively large data set. So still a very quick um, I'm not sure how long this takes in pandas, but I'm pretty sure it takes a little bit more. Um, and yeah, this is more or less similar example. Um, so you can do some pivoting here, um, but uh, yeah, the, the analysis is relatively similar to what I shown above. So, um, so here I grab this element, this group by element, and I can do I can use as index user ID and brand. So, and then pivot the co the column event type. So, this gives me 15 million rows. Uh, let me show you how this looks. So it's the same thing. The only difference is that I added the user ID here. And so this is more or less some example rows. Um, so we can see that we have some null values here. So we need to fill those in and there's the way to do it is with the fill new strategy equals zero. So you just uh, select this data frame, use with columns and fill these new columns I created. Uh, so here I'll show you how it looks. So now we have zeros. And so then we can compute the same kind of uh, variables that I did before. So uh, here, yeah, here we can see the, the top results. So uh, this is by user ID now. So it's not aggregated at the brand level only. And this user ID is probably some sort of resellers that they made a lot of purchases. So um, that's, uh, yeah, it's not easy to filter them in the data set. Um, so yeah, then you might want to do some operations with this data. So here I'm doing a purchase divided view, it's the same way as we did before, just one, one column. And let me show you this. And so basically computing this percentage. And um, so <laughs> it seems these people were very, uh, very cer certain of what they were looking for. So they made 600 views and 453 purchases so that's not normal at all um but yeah just this is just an example and here is another uh situation right so when we when we're doing this division um we have some zero values here in the views um or in the purchase so that generates some infinity so this is the way to um test when this happens when the, this percentage is infinity. We convert it to none. Otherwise, we just keep the column. So it's like a, a vectorized if else. Um, and, and yeah, here we can do uh, some analysis with this data.
So yeah, that covers more or less what I wanted to show today. Um, the idea was to do some uh, yeah example operations with the group by uh, context. That's how it's called in um, in Polar. So we did very simple example, just starting out with uh, grouping by one variable, doing one uh, expression, and then I continued adding more variables and more examples. So here we're grouping by two variables. And uh, yeah, at the end, we're grouping by user ID. So I think this is a very interesting uh, library, very easy to use. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll do another video making some more concrete data analysis example. I hope you enjoy it.